Hello from Bangkok. We have returned to Thailand. Yay. Okay, today I am going to show you a few things I bought at the 7-Eleven. I'm going to try them. I'm going to give you an idea of what the price is. Uh, all of them are like uh, 30 cents to a dollar and a quarter Canadian, so they're not a lot of money. But I'll put the price on the screen because uh, I can't remember any of them. Anyways, all right, let's get going. Let's try the first product. Okay, here's the first product. It's a orange Pepsi. Yeah. So this one was about uh, 20 baht, which is about 70 cents. Let's try it out. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, it's got like, uh, definitely has an orange taste. It goes pretty good. Yeah, Pepsi and oranges. Totally approved. Next product is Japanese melon flavored milk. See, it's green. Japanese melon flavored milk. Let's try this out. Mmm, that is good. That's like cantaloupe, I think. Yeah, it totally tastes like cantaloupe. Awesome. Yeah, this is really good. So this was uh, 15 baht, if I'm not mistaken, which is about uh, 50 cents or something like that. Mmm, good stuff. Next is grass jelly noodle in syrup. All right, so I kind of have an idea what this is gonna be like. There's lots of drinks with like chunks of what you could call like jello in it. So, all right, the top is hard to open up. Okay, I'll show some of this to the camera without making a mess. Yeah, so you can see here, it's like chunks of jello and a syrup. Mmm. I'd almost say there's like a pruny taste to this. Uh, yeah, grass jelly is like a flavor actually. It's in a bunch of drinks here in South Asia and it's not bad at all, uh, but it's something to get really hard to get used to. It's not something we have in North America at all. And this is like more like a little soup with pieces of jello in it. Mmm. So this was 10 baht, which is like uh, 36 cents or something like that. Yep, 10 baht, 36 cents for the grass jelly. These are some Lay chips, and uh, you probably know Lay chips, Hostess Frito-Lay they used to be called. I'm not sure if it's called that anymore, but Lay chips. And this flavor is fried soft shell crab sauce Sam Ross. Fried soft shell crab sa sauce Sam Ross. I have no idea uh, what Sam Ross is. Uh, I have had crab, soft shell crab, sure. All right, let's try it. Oh, that totally smells like crab. All right. Okay, the Sam Ross part is definitely the part that doesn't taste like crab. It's kind of like... It's like a mix of seafood sauce with a little spice in it. I think that's a good way to describe Sam Ross. Mmm, it's pretty good. So this was, uh, I think, 22 baht, which is like 80 cents. And remember, limited edition. You can't get this all the time. Next is extreme volcano flavored. Blue Diamond Almonds. Yeah, I know that product. Uh, Blue Diamond is sold in North America. Now, volcano flavored, you can figure that out. That's spicy, right? Now, let's see what it tastes like. Mmm, it's got a nice smell to it, too. I've had a couple now, and I'm waiting for the heat to set in. It's not really spicy, especially for Thai people. They would say, ha, 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 volcano, not spicy, right? Nah. It's not that spicy. I've been eating a lot of spicy stuff. You see a little pepper on the bottom. Volcano, for sure, that's hot, right? Not that spicy, but good nonetheless. Good with beer, I'm sure. The Extreme Volcano almonds were about 30 baht, say uh, about $1.20 Canadian. Milky Banana Gummy is next. 
looks like this, like a banana. Oh yeah, that that is definitely like a milky banana flavor. It's pretty good. So we definitely don't have stuff like this, but there are these like old banana marshmallow gummies uh, that you would get at Easter and they're sort of like that. I have one more. These milky banana gummies were like 30 baht and that's like a dollar fifteen, dollar twenty Canadian. Lava filled chocolate cookies. Okay, lava chocolate filled cookies. Jack and Jill is the brand. There's the cookie. There's the chocolate inside. Now, like lava cakes have uh, excess of chocolate and it oozes out. Eh, I guess that oozed out a little bit. So these cookies, they were 10 baht, which is 36 cents. Next product, I bought this because of the uh, guy with the uh, fruit hat shushing. Shh, I'm having fruit. It's made by Thai Snacks. So I had to look on the back. There's very little English on here. And there's three flavors, lemon, peach, and apple, or so it seems. And this is a dried fruit. Let's try it. That's what it looks like. They look like kind of little raisin things. Oh yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah, interesting. Mmm. So these were like 25 baht, which is, ooh, or a little sour. 25 baht, which is uh, just under a dollar, about 90 cents. Last one is Breaksta. They look like Reese's uh, peanut butter cups. And this one's got kind of a layer and it looks like some chocolate in the middle. This was uh, 12 baht, so uh, just under 50 cents. Even says Breaksta on the chocolate. It's like much bigger and maybe even thicker than the Reese's peanut butter cups, which keep on shrinking in North America. Mmm. That's really good. There's like a wafer in the middle. Mmm. I really like this one. Okay, this was a bunch of products from the 7-Eleven I bought and yeah, I would say, first of all, they're all really cheap, unique flavors, not stuff I'm used to in Canada. So right on 7-Eleven, I love these things. We'll buy most of them again, maybe not that, or that, or that, or that, but these ones are good. All right, thanks for watching. Peace, take care.